This is the way it says. And this is what kind of chicken is she? Well Summer. Oh, Well Summers. And we discovered she's got Bumblefoot. I'll show you what that is in a little bit. I can't run the camera and do the stuff at the same time, but it's pretty serious deal, but it's pretty easy to handle. I'll try to show you how to do it. There it is. And basically, this can be caused by uh, anything, a scratch, a thorn, or something. Yeah, probably a mesquite thorn or a blackhead or a goat head or whatever. Anyway, then it gets infected, and uh, them constantly walking on it, it can't ever drain. It gets like this. And she's not normally a friendly one, so we yeah, didn't know. <laughs> yeah, this chick, yeah, this chicken don't get close to us. This is another one that was gifted to us, but uh, we've soaked it. I don't know, it's had her in like 10, 15 minutes in the Epsom salt water, warm Epsom, Epsom water to soften it up. Because these things are like rock hard. This one's actually kind of soft. Uh, now I've got to take that out. And yeah, she's not going to like the rest of it. Is my face in that? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, you would. Y'all heard that. She'll kill me. Uh, not going to promise you can see a lot. But. You basically start at the outside edge and just try to get it to go in. We got uh, sterile medical towels. They're the same as those Pioneer paper towels that we were using on that other stuff. This isn't part of the chicken. There, there's the bumble. Now we got to find what was causing it. That's way easier after soaking it. There you go. It's mostly just got a hole. Yuck. Uh, the chickens that we keep that are tame, this is a lot easier to deal with because, you know, we check their feet. And when they're tiny, they're pretty much, you just pull the thorn out and uh, whatever. Hi, you two people. Squeeze a little. Yeah, there she is, guys. Y'all wondering if she's going to fill up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to get a little invasive on this one. See all this folded skin and stuff? If I leave that in there, it's just going to form right back. Learn that the hard way on the first one. So we've got to get the better part of this off and then bandage it up, clean it out, bandage it up, and uh, that grow back. The, most of the infection's gone, but it'll, she'll wind up with this big callus on the bottom of her foot. That makes it hard for her to walk, which will make her easy pickings for coyotes and such. We don't want that. I see something. It could be a simple little cactus thing. Yeah. That was one. Our next investment, baby, is going to be uh, some uh, some surgical scissor things over there.
And I washed this pocket knife with alcohol quite thoroughly. And yeah, it's just a chicken. But you wouldn't want somebody doing surgery on you with a Hey, go give me the uh, scissors off the uh, out of the bathroom. Purple handed ones. The whichever ones are short. Got to get the skin off so she'll heal up. That's right, herish. And she's had this one for a while. She weren't such a stinker. Her, uh, she lays eggs the color of chocolate. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. You know, if you pour alcohol in your crotch, it's really cold. I'm just saying. Not that I just did that. I'm just saying that if you did it, it would be. Take and grab her by the head and just go snip. Ow, or not. Whatever. You stab it with alcohol? Whatever. So what and you doctoring chickens is a very serious business, and you're not allowed to pick on the animal, be mean, or nothing like that. What do you put on it? That way she doesn't just get it reinfected because it's just like open. The neosporin and that. Um Sports tape oh. and a gauze top pack just to look at to make it when it steps, it don't hurt. Yeah, mm -hmm. you put a little pad on it. I'm really tempted to cut all that dead shit off right there, but that's gonna bleed bad if I do. I didn't do this for a uh, big guy or whatever. Yeah, he just didn't heal up right. That's why I'd rather. And if y'all notice the chicken's not making a big fuss, that's not because it doesn't hurt. It's because chickens deal with pain different than the human beings. They, she is feeling every bit of this. One of God's little gifts to us is. To a degree, pain will shut a chicken down. And, uh, you know, basically she's gone into a give up mode. I wouldn't want to feel myself being eaten either, so God gave him the gift of just turning it off. But for us, it's a gift of we can do this kind of stuff to help the animal. And the animal doesn't have to suffer through feeling every bit of it. Which kind of puts the anesthesiologist out of business. See, there's where the actual infection was. You know, see that? There's like a... Looks like a, a butthole looking thing up there in the middle. Well, it's not going to show up when I turn her foot so y'all don't get to it. But there's a little circle of nothingness in her foot. There's something in there. I don't know what it is. That it's like that crusty stuff. That yeah, there it is. that uh, big guy gets on his.
can't take forever doing this, but you can't rush it either. I mean, the longer you do it, I mean, notice she's starting to react to the pain because right now her brain's going, hey, wait, it's not, e he's not eating me. Right, get loose. I mean, I don't know what her brain's saying. I can't, like, think chicken. Y'all heard me say it a thousand times on my channel already. Well, not a thousand, but a few times. People that want chickens, there's a whole lot more to having chickens than throwing feed and putting out water. Is that right, baby? Mm -hmm. You've got to love them and name them and watch them hatch. Watch them hatch, yeah. She's like a kid in the candy store, has been all weekend long. We well, got eight or nine to go. You still get to watch her? Mm -hmm. There's one in there hatching now, and you're taking forever. No, I'm taking forever. She's going to miss it. Well, we could just cut this one, do the amputation right up there, have a bowl of chicken. Around. Ow, or not. I really like chicken and dumplings. So I look for excuses. She's not real fond of chicken and dumplings. Apparently she likes chickens, just the way they are. Now if a rooster messes up, I don't know it's awful okay to make chicken and rice. Alright ma'am. Right, make sure you got a handle of this might hurt. She might react to this, because it's the Dead, but I've, I've got to get into the good stuff. Mm. Yeah, she did down here. Oh. You felt it. A while ago, her head jumped a little when you got her. To, when you were pulling. Yeah. Mm. Did she go to sleep? Mm. She's not asleep. I thought she was. There we go. Now I'm not a vet, people. Not even close. That's not dead yet, is it? Sorry, girl. This is what you get from tripping you up all the time when I'm trying to take your feet. I noticed she wasn't walking around and stuff. You know, like running and stuff, how she's usually real active. I just thought it was because she's getting older. Okay. I have no idea how old she is. Right, here comes the after, guys. Hold on. Watch out! Ah! I mean, don't focus. Focus. Yeah. You can see where the hole was in the center. There that was actually a deep hole that had infection and stuff in it. I've got all the mucus out of it. Now we'll bandage it up and we'll cut her loose. <coughs> Show you on how to put a band-aid on. Uh, sorry, forgot. Mm. You gotta wash it out with this. This doesn't hurt. There you go, there's still stuff coming out. To clean it out. Now you can see that hole. See that hole? 
Mm. Så det hopp. Så det stöpte han för det. Man, you use very special chick triple antibiotic ointment. They sell it right next to the human triple antibiotic ointment. What's that one you're not allowed to put on there? There's one. Do some reading. I can't remember what it is. But there's actually one stuff that they put in some of these ointments that it's not real bueno for old foghorn leghorn here. Anyway, then we're going to bandage it up. We'll take a picture. Send it to you in the postcard.